Hello, my name is Rose and I live in Northern New Brunswick, Canada. So we've seen online from other people grown vertically and especially when you're in a small, smaller bed, the zucchini plant can grow two to three feet and we witnessed that last year and the previous year it just takes over your whole garden. So this year we have eight plants and we're growing it all vertically and it's going extremely well. And you can see here it's not taking over the whole bed. I also wanted to mention that we noticed a big difference growing vertically this year because it creates lots of airflow, easy access to your zucchini. When you cut the lower leaves, you can access everything and the bees can come see your flowers and pollinate them. So it's a great benefit to grow vertically in smaller beds. I am trying to grow my channel. It would be awesome if you like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Thank you. I'm gonna tie this up with just a piece of rope here because I'm gonna put it up uh, on a, a trellis or just a piece of stick that we're using here. So I'm gonna try to and this is the trunk. This is going to grow at least two, like two to three feet long. So if I can catch it now at the beginning and put it onto this little stick here. And this is something new we're trying out, but I've seen it on other channels. So if I can just do it gently. I know they're using more of an elastic band, but this one here is just a, a rope for now. And they still can grow in between everything just a simple little knot and that's my plan so i'm going to do that to everyone see this in here they didn't pollinate so i'm going to take that off that last shot it didn't go very well but i'm just tying it right here up here just a simple little whoops a little knot and it's just around the trunk right here and i don't know if you can see the stick the stick right here everyone has a stick this is really picky so try to make sure you don't hurt your hands. I'm just going to cut right here. And that's it. Get that on the ground. And I might move some because it's going over here a little bit and over there. Um, I don't want to cut too much, but just a little bit. So this big leaf is in the way. Take this guy off. And I think this is in the way. So the bees can't really get at the flowers if all these huge leaves are in the way. And already you can see the yellow uh, zucchini just removing some of the, the bigger leaves. And I'm gonna put this up too. I want just to get a little close up. Look how many zucchini I have. And see this trunk right here? I'm gonna just connect it more to this little branch. Wow, this is going good. <laughs> and I'm like, you can't see it because the leaves are in the way. But look. So we'll just cut it right at the tip here. So I was clearing this out. Remember my green zucchini? Clearing this out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Then over here, if I lift up the leaves, there's a big one. 
Another one! We kind of feel the air flow going through. It still has a lot of leaves in here, but I, I didn't want to butcher it too much. The book is all tied up. Now you can see it a little bit better. This in here is tied up too. Look. This in here I'm going to take off because it's not going to grow. It didn't block, um, didn't pollinate well, so this one looks good. Look at the flowers. And as soon as I cleared this up, there was bees coming in here. What does this sound like? This is what you want to see, a little bee. These, you can see these are no good, so I took those off. Uh, is there another one? Oh, there's another one over here. Today's harvest. I'll cut this off and use this part. I just cleaned up all the zucchini. Now you can see the bottom better. Let's see, there's our little harvest from a while ago. Now you can see. Look at the airflow here. 
There's no leaves on the bottom, so I chop them up like this. That's it. And now you can see all the way through here. And you see the tops? I'll do a little back view here. Just the very tops where the leaves are on, and this. And I have taken off. This one here is no good because it's end rot. On that end rot, but it didn't uh, pollinate well, so it's not going to grow. So, yeah, so it's going to make it all nice and clean looking. Look at our yeah. This one here I cleaned up a lot too. Just took off a couple side the uh, big chunks here and there so I just cut them off there we go see now you can see all that grass I'm gonna add this to the pile because I picked that the other day but look it's growing good and today is July the 24th I will be doing some more videos of how to cook with zucchini, like lasagna, zucchini, or just harvesting all your stuff and freezing it for the winter. So I have more videos coming up. Thank you.